स्टॉप उधरेगा आगे राइट स्टॉप लिफ्ट स्टॉप टूडेज एपिसोड इज अबाउट द वॉइस रिकोगशन मॉड्यूल वी थ्री पॉइंट वन In this episode, you will learn how to train your voice recognition module using different languages. Stop. Stop. Aage. Aage. And you will also learn how to delete a voice command and replace it with any other voice command. In this tutorial, we will cover all the basics. In my upcoming tutorials, I will be using the same voice recognition module for controlling a wheelchair, home appliances and so on. So make sure you subscribe right now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing are number one voice recognition module V3.1. Number two, Arduino. Number three, male to female type jumper wires. Number four, it is number five, 330 ohm resistors, and finally number six, a breadboard. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the voice recognition module V3.1, and on this side you can see we have ground VCC, RXD, and TXD. We will solder these male headers over here so that it can be easily interfaced with Arduino. Over here we can connect a mic which can be easily plugged in. Now let's solder the male headers. Now this module is ready for the interfacing. Connect the ground of device recognition module with the Arduino's ground. Connect the VCC of the module with the Arduino's 5V. Connect the RXD of the module with pin number 3 of the Arduino. And finally connect TXD of the device recognition module with pin 2 of the Arduino. Now connect a USB cable. First of all connect Arduino with the laptop. Before you start the voice commands training, first of all make sure that you download the desired library and paste it into the Arduino's library folder, which you can see is a device recognition v3. The link is given in the description if in case you want to download this library. If you open this folder, you will find a PDF file. This PDF file consists of all the functions and information about how to use this voice recognition module. You guys should definitely read this PDF file. It will really help you. Open Arduino IDE. Click on the file. Then sketchbook libraries and then search for the voice recognition V3. And open VR simple train. This sketch will be used for recording voice commands. As you can see over here, some of the most basic commands are given over here. Before you upload this program, first of all, make sure that you select the right board and right COM port. Now click on the upload button and wait for a while. You can see the program has been uploaded. Click on the serial monitor. First of all, make sure that you select the new line and set the baud rate to 115200. All the commands are case sensitive. Let's first of all start with the settings command. These are the default settings. The sick train command is used to train a voice command. 
let's train a voice command for on. Simply write a sick train, then space and then the record number, let's say zero, and then the signature which is on and press enter. On. On. So now as you can see it's successfully trained. I've seen so many guys searching about how to delete a voice command. Well actually you don't need to delete a command. The simplest way is to replace that voice command with another one. Let's say I want to replace a record zero with stop. 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 Now this time you can see the record zero has a signature stop before we head on at record zero. As you know this voice recognition module supports all the languages. You can use any command in any language. You can use Spanish, French, Urdu, Hindi, Pushto and so on. Let's this time we use a command in Urdu or Hindi. This time I will use one as the record number and signature as forward. Age. Age. In Urdu and Hindi language, we use the word Age for forward. Now let's train another command in another language called Pashto and also make sure that you use different record number for each voice command that you want to train and same applies to the signature in simple words the record number and signature should be unique Udrega 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 is a word which is used in Pushto language for stop. So far, we have used 2, 1 and 0. So now let's load these commands. For this, we have a command load as you can see over here. Write all the record numbers and press enter. Now you can see all the three commands are loaded. Stop. Age. This means Age means forward. And uh, Udriga. And Udriga means stop. So right now I just trained for three different uh, 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 commands which are in three different languages. So stop. This is how easily we Agi. can train this voice recognition module. As you see, Udriga. it's perfectly working and Stop. has such Agi. a quick and, response uh, time. Agi. Now, let me replace these voice commands with the ones that I'll be using in my wheelchair project. Follow the same steps. Forward. Forward. Left. 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 Right. Right. Stop. <clears throat> Stop. Stop. Forward, left, right, stop. 
now let's close this program and open another program by default this program has two commands on record and off record I modified this program as per my requirements the modified program is this one these are the two pins with which the voice recognition module is connected is I will be using this program for controlling a wheelchair this is the right motor wire 1 this is the right motor wire 2 left motor wire 1 and left motor wire 2 these are the signatures which are used during the voice commands training or here as you can see we have some problem over here I used capital S a while during the training I used stop with small s let me replace this again stop stop this time it's capital S and I will tell you why I used stop with capital S forward left right stop if I delete the capital S as you can see it's a keyword we just can't use this as a signature so I decided to use a capital S so make sure you never use a keyword as a variable name or signature etc I declared all the motor wires as output and keep both motors off by default over here you can see I used forward left right and stop then using the switch case we can use the signatures to control the two motors use the digital right function to high and low any wire this way you can control the forward left right and stop now click to upload this program and wait for a while stop so you can see it's it gets successfully recognized and you can see the signature is a stop and the record number is three forward right left I connected some LDs to test my program these two LDs represent motor 1 and these two LDs represent motor 2 each LED represents a motor wire first LED is connected with pin number 4 second LED is connected with pin number 5 third LED is connected with pin number 6 and this LED is connected with pin number 7 of the Arduino this is the current limiting resistor and its value is a 330 ohm resistor and all the cathode sides of the LEDs are connected with the ground as you can see the LED is blinking and it's ready for a voice command let's give it some voice commands right stop lift stop I hope you liked today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching